Okay, I'm going to cover unshielded twisted pair cat 5 cable. And when you take the sheathing off this cable, there's four twisted pairs. And you have to untwist each pair to set up for a connector. And there's two standards for this. There's 568A and 568B. The main difference being that the orange and green pairs are switched. And when you're making a, making a cable, you have to keep in mind that be aware of your transmit and receive pins. So pins 1 and 2 is the first pair, and then pins 3 and 6 are the second pair. So if you need a crossover cable, then you're going to feed the first pair into the second pair of the other device. For example, transmit 1 and 2 are going to cross over to receive on 3 and 6 at the other device. This is what you use for similar devices such as going from PC to PC or router to router. And then straight through cables used for unlike devices such as going from a PC to a hub. And when you're preparing one of these for a connector, you need to untwist the pairs and then figure out what order you want them in and then you have to trim the wire off and when you get ready to attach the connector you need to make sure the outer shielding goes inside the connector and then you need to make sure that your wires are cut flush and pushed all the way up into the end before you crimp it. And a quick way to tell a crossover from a straight through cable is to put both ends together and look at them to see if they're in opposite order or the same order. And that's a quick overview of installing RJ45 connectors.